Shami from Crafts Names and Thanks. So I wanted to show you um, how you can make an earring display out of a vintage suitcase. So I found this at a local um, at a local um, yard sale. It's just a few bucks, and I decoupaged it. Good. And um, I am a teacher for Curious.com, so if you want to learn how to do that, um, there will be a class uploaded there in probably a week on how to do how to decoupage a vintage suitcase. Okay. But I'm going to show you um, how we can do the inside together, okay? So all I did was um, I just took a pin, and this is a piece of, let me tell you what the supplies are first. So I'm using foam board, and then I have spray adhesive, my trusty can there, and then I have a stapler, I have a knife cutter, I have ribbon, and I have muslin um, cloth too, okay? that I got, it was on sale for like two bucks. Well, like, I think it was like a dollar a yard at Joanna's. So that's where I went. And I just want to say Joanna has like the coolest craft section. Like they had so many great deals. And I remember like I stopped shopping there because it was so expensive, but they've really been competing like with Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I think actually they have a better selection on like their jewelry and stuff like that. But just a side note, that's where I got mine from. Okay. And then um, you're just going to kind of put it in there. And so I just took a big piece of foam board, the big one down here. And all I did was just put it up there. And then I just took a marker and kind of marked around. I kind of wanted a rough estimate. Um, but what's going to happen is this is going to be inserted in. And then we're going to have ribbon that goes, um, that makes kind of the lines. And you can stick like the self-adhesive or the self-adhesive back earring you know, plastic little things that you get at the store onto the actual ribbon. Okay, but let me show you. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I kind of have a rough design of how big this is going to be. Okay, so what I can do is I can take my spray adhesive here, and I have my first piece of foam board, and I'm going to give this a spray. And um, this spray adhesive is Elmer's. I really like it because you can make a permanent bond or a temporary bond. And also, it's not as stinky as some of the other adhesives. So, this is what I like to use. But feel free um, to use what you have. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just give that a second just to dry because that's what makes a very permanent bond. And you're just going to put that right on top of your second piece, okay? So I just kind of lined it up, and before it sticks too much, I'm going to line it up and stick it on there, okay? And I would recommend that you kind of did this, this before, this step before. I just did not, okay? Then what we're going to do is you see that it has two layers here. So I'm just going to take my cutter and I'm going to cut around the edges and I got this um I'm just been trying to think of a way to display my earrings you know that would be good so um, this is what I came up with so I'm just going to take it and just very very roughly I'm going to take my cutter and just go around the outline okay and we will um it very very well at some point. Um, you know, before we put the fabric on, we'll make sure that it's under very very well. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this guy and take that off. Like so. Okay. kind of see I just want it to set in there kind of so I can push it in so I think that I can take off maybe about a quarter of an inch on each side Just 
just going to dig them in here so you can see. Then I'm just going to slice through both of them. Okay. Just very, very, ooh, oops, I busted my knife. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> recommend that you don't do that okay but you're just gonna take it and very gently cut it down okay just like that okay so this is getting there um, so I think the side's okay. So what I can do is I can just take a pen or a pencil or kind of whatever I have and I can just make a couple little marks. It still fits pretty well, just a little less snug, which is fine, okay? okay. So I'm going to take my fabric right here. And I'm going to lay it out, kind of, like so. And I'm going to measure it, okay? So if I put it there, that looks about right. I'm going to leave about an inch or two on every side. I'm just going to take my scissors. So I know that my cut should be here. So right here is my cut. And I'm just going to go the length of the material. And I, like I said, I'm giving myself an inch because I hate to measure, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Oh, all right. Okay, so it goes like that already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it down a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, and I'm going to take my spray adhesive and... I'm going to spray it very, very good down, okay? I mean, I'm going to really cake it on there nice and good, okay? And I'm going to set down my fabric. As straight as I can, okay? Just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to sit down my fabric as straight as I can. Okay, we're right on top, just like that. Seems like I get a ton of phone calls when I'm crafting, like no one calls me at all until <laughs> I'm making a video. Okay, so on these edges, I'm just going to trim a little bit more around. Okay, so because that's hanging on a little too much. Okay, so I'm just going to go around. Kind of just to even it out. Oh, but today I was like so frustrated. Don't you hate that? Like when you can't find anything that you need, and like I brought like wire for my jury because I'm getting ready for a craft show, and I just could not get my act together today. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a video, and then hopefully I'll feel a little better. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's add some more because this is not sticking so well. I did not add enough. You really want to just take it on there okay. as much as you can. Okay. All right. And just pull that fabric taunt. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And you can kind of smooth it out. I don't mind if there's a couple little wrinkles. That's okay with me. But by all means, if you want it perfect, then Go for it. Okay. Like things perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't like them perfect. Okay. So by all means, you could spend tons of time on this. You can kind of, you know, really go for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray down 
the edges here and the fabric. And I'm going to create a corner. So I'm going to do that on all four sides, just like I did um, for the video that you saw when we made this. a little bit. All right. Okay. So it will go in just like that. All right. So now let's get on to making our round. So if you wanted to, you could cover this this part um, with something if you like. So I just have ribbon. It's the cheap ribbon um, that you get like from. Um, from Michaels. I think I did get this at Michaels actually. But um, I didn't want it to be too thick because I didn't know how big the, the things were going to be. But all I'm going to do is just make lines. I'm going to pull it super, super taunt these. And I'm going to staple them right to the foam board. Okay. Sorry if you can't see. Okay, and I'm gonna staple them to the foam board. Okay. Ready? So I'm just gonna take it one at a time. Just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna turn it over like so. Make sure that I have that ribbon in the middle. Okay, and as you can see, there's ribbon on the edge here. And make sure that it goes over on both sides, okay? Just like that, okay? And it's a little sticky on this side, which kind of aids me in having to staple this. Okay, so I'm going to try to make it as even as I can, but again, you guys know that I'm so not a perfectionist, so and if you want to do, you could really mark it and do all that stuff, but I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm just going to kind of see, kind of gauge, okay? So that looks about all right for my, looks even to me, sorry, looks even to me, all righty. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, you see these little guys here? I'm just going to grab my staple gun, or my stapler, just a regular old stapler, and I'm going to staple this down. Okay, and I just opened up the stapler. And this way, it's just really reinforced, and I know that they're not going anywhere. You could hot glue gun if you needed to, but this just makes it a little bit more permanent. Okay, I'm just gonna take it, and the staples are not gonna go through. That's why I did a couple layers of the foam board. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to continue going back and forth, you know, as evenly as I can. But I do think that you could get quite a bit of earrings, quite a bit of earrings on there. Okay, so I'm just going to go around.
Ed Shami from Crafts Names and Things, so I wanted to show you this is the completed um, earring um, rack that I made um, for craft shows in my decoupage suitcase. So I decoupage this. Um, this um, lesson is available on curious.com if you want to learn how to decoupage a suitcase, a vintage suitcase. Um, it's on my channel there. Um, but I just wanted to, but we did do this part together. I showed you how to do this part. So I just want to show you how it, how it works. So all I did was I made these earring cards and I'll have a link to the video where I show you how to make those. And then I just attached these, um, adhesive, um, sticky backs for earrings that have like little hook. They have a lip on them. And I just applied them with double sided sticky tape because I want to use them again. And with double sided sticky tape, it'll come off really well but it'll hold so um, that's why I did that and if I peeled off the adhesive that was on here where it says you can see the little white tag that says remove the adhesive then it would um, really stick and I would definitely use the card so as people buy it I'll just pull those off and reuse them because they're like I think they were like five dollars for a pack of a hundred and yeah and people aren't going to use that anyway so so I'm going to show you how to hang up your earrings. So again, um, we just made this very easily. And all you're going to do is just slip, slip it on the lip. So you slip the lip part right over your ribbon. Okay. And you can just continue to hang them up. And it works out very, very well. Okay. And you can kind of fix them a little bit in your earrings, but as you can see, it works out very, very well. So um, hopefully you'll do this. If you have any more um, ideas for jewelry displays, um, please let me know. I'd like to see what people are working on. This is just one that I came up with that I thought would be a good idea. And it's very easy. All we did is use the form board and the ribbon, and it turned out very, very good. Okay, so we'll just stick that on there. And like I said, if you want to learn how to decoupage a vintage suitcase, then um, please head on over to carries.com and you can watch um, that lesson. But if not, there are lots of videos on YouTube of people doing it too. But I really love it. I found these um, napkins at the dollar store. So I found these napkins at the dollar store and they're quite beautiful. Um, so I just really love this and I've always wanted a vintage suitcase, but, um, so, so you can just kind of hang up your earrings and you're all ready to go. Okay. And I'll probably put, um, a piece of wire, um, or a piece of, a piece of wire. I've been making too many earrings, a piece of like wax paper just to make sure that they don't fall down and kind of um, just to adhere them very well. But if you have any questions, um, please let me know and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you know um, someone that would like to see it. Thanks.